Hello, Mother. Ethan, Teresa, what are the two of you doing here? Well, we came to get our blood test certificates so we can get our marriage license. I thought you already got blood tests. We did, but Ethan needed the certificate in his new name. Ethan, you're taking a new name? I've decided to call myself Ethan Winthrop. Oh. Winthrop, well, you're taking my maiden name. Oh, Ethan, I, I can't tell you what that means to me. Well, I didn't really have a choice, did I? And once your big secret came out that I wasn't your husband's son, I lost my name. I was no longer Ethan Crane. Ethan. And I sure as hell don't intend to take the name of my real father, Sam Bennett. Ethan, he, he is your father. No. Mother, I hate him. I have no respect for the man. Like, I will never be Sam Bennett's son. And what makes you think Whitney's falling in love with Chad? I could tell by the way they were looking at each other. I could see it in their body language. Oh, God, what if... What if I'm right? Chad turns out to be the baby you thought died right after he was born. Yes. I mean, what if he's my son? And he and my daughter are falling in love. Okay. The lid's loose. All right, now the second I open the box and release the light, we have to run and hide. Why? If Hecuba manages to escape the light and isn't incinerated, she'll try to kill us. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> been unleashed. <gasps> Goodbye, Tim Tim. Goodbye, Princess. Goodbye, Connors. I'm out of here. <gasps> Look, Timmy. The light is going to destroy Hecuba. And we are next. Timmy doesn't want do I, Timmy? This time it seems there's no way out. You don't even know Sam. Your mother's right. Chief Bennett is a good man. Look, I know everything I need to know about the illustrious chief of police. I know he can't run a police department. I know that my mother almost died because he couldn't handle the prom boat disaster. That wasn't his fault. Nevertheless, I'm going to make him pay for that and every other time that he bungled up a job How that he going to make me pay, Ethan. I'm going to use my power on the police board what to power? score. You're no longer on the police board, remember? Because you're no longer an almighty crane. You don't have any power, Ethan. None. Sam, please. I want so badly for you and Ethan to like each other. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go check on my wife.
We need your mom's password. I'll, um, I'll call my mom to let her come up. She's probably still down in an emergency, okay? Well, tell her this is an emergency, too. She'll be up as soon as she can. I hope so. I feel like I've been waiting all my life for this. And if this DNA search came up with a match, I gotta find out who my mother is now. I am so sorry I dropped that on you, Eve. It's just that I am so upset at Sam for lying to me. And it's, it's important that you understand you need to be honest with TC. I don't want to see you make the same mistake that Sam did. I told you, I can never tell TC that I had a baby out of wedlock. Julian Cranes? What if he hears it from someone else? Wouldn't that be worse? And secrets can destroy a marriage. I know. What if Chad is my son? Eve, you know, why don't you go up and see the results on the DNA search? I mean, maybe you're getting all upset over nothing. Dr. Russell, your daughter just called from the research room. She wants you to go up there immediately. Thank, thank you, Margie. Well, I guess I better go up there then. I'll come back and I'll let you know what I find out. Hey, honey. How you feeling? Grace, um... Grace, we gotta talk. Jimmy doesn't understand. Why doesn't the light hurt Jimmy and Princess? I'm not sure, Jimmy. Maybe it's because I've lost my powers, or maybe it's because we're in this damn pot. I've no idea. <laughs> oh, no! Timmy smoked too soon! Here he comes, Timmy! Here comes the light for us! Please, Lord, protect Timmy and Princess from the light. Don't oh. let the light get to them. Oh, stop praying, Timmy. It doesn't help. You helped Timmy before. Please, Lord, protect Timmy and Princess. <laughs> I know a place that'll be safe. Remember the minecart we were in the last time we were down here? I'm gonna be straight with you, Kay. Yeah? If we're gonna die down here, I think you should know the truth. You know, if Charity had never come to Harmony, if I never met her, yes, I would have loved you. Yes, the minecart. Miguel! Did you hear that? Hear what? It sounded like someone was calling my name. No, Miguel, I didn't hear a thing. Come on, let's go. Miguel! There it is again. It's Charity. Charity again, don't go to her. I know you're angry. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. No, look, I, can we just stop? I don't want to talk about this anymore. I know. Let's talk about the wedding. You know, once we, we get our blood test certificates, then we can go to City Hall and get our marriage license. But there's so much more we have to do. I mean, you do have to pick a best man. You're right. I, I have to think of someone. Sometimes the groom asks his father. Well, I already asked Julian to be my best man when I was going to marry Gwen. But I certainly can't ask him now. Oh, right. You want me to ask Sam. Forget it, Mother. I don't want you to bring up his name again. I just hate it when you're at each other's throats. I don't want to talk about this anymore, all right? Now, Teresa and I have to go get our blood test certificates. Well, let's go. Ethan, I... Oh! Am I done? I'm 
son can't stand to talk to me and Sam hates me. <sighs> Brought you these. They're your favorites. I went all over town to find them. Out of season. Grace, gotta talk. I love you. I'm so sorry. Well, sorry bring my baby back. Well, sorry make me trust you again. Or erase the fact that you lied to me over and over. Look, it was wrong. Right? I didn't want to hurt you. I was trying to protect you, but it was wrong and it was stupid. It was cruel, Sam. I know. I know you feel betrayed and angry. Grace, but we have to talk about this. We have to try to move past it. And if we don't, I mean, what's going to happen to our marriage? Dr. Russell, yo, I'm happy to see you. The DNA search is over. All we need is your password to get the results. Isn't it exciting, Mom? Chad's finally gonna find out who his mother and father are. Listen, I wanna thank you for doing this whole DNA search to begin with. Dr. Russell, look, I don't mean to rush you here, okay? But can you just go ahead and put your password in? Because if I wait a minute longer, I feel like I'm going to explode. You know what I'm saying? Yes, please. Please hurry. Okay? What if I'm his mother? Oh, what am I going to do? Mom, your password? Dr. Russell, what's wrong? I mean, don't you want me to find out who my parents are? Yes. Look, Chad's been waiting for a very long time. Please. of us. No, it's much more likely that the Golden Light needed all its strength to destroy Hecuba. <laughs> no, it was Jimmy's parents that saved him and his princess. Oh, well, whatever. We, we can't argue about it now. We're free, Timmy, and we've got to get out of here. We're free! <laughs> what happens when Hecuba is destroyed? Won't Charity come back? And won't she come after Timmy and Tabby? Yes, yes, she will, but we'll just have to hide from her. Right now, we've got to get out of here. You're not going anywhere! If I'm gonna be destroyed, I'm taking you with me! <sighs> It's Jerry. I have to go to work, Kay. No, wait. How do you know it's not an illusion or a trick? But how? Right, the box has the power of goodness. There's no evil strong enough to penetrate that box. Miguel, no! Charity? Charity, grab my hand! Come back to me! Miguel... No! Charity, don't leave me! Look, I'll close the box! I'm not letting you go! Miguel, don't do it! Go with me. 
Grace, you don't mean that. We have children. Noah, Kay, Jessica. I mean, how can you say you don't care what happens to this marriage? And how can you say you do? Your lies cost us another one of our children. It cost us our child before he was even born. I know. I take full responsibility for your losing the baby. That's right. You're responsible. You know, if, if you hadn't lied to me, I never would have been at the Crane Mansion. I never would have heard Ivy tell everyone that you were the father of her son, and I never would have been so shocked that I fell down those stairs and miscarried. Look, I was as shocked as you were to hear that Ethan was my son. I mean, Ivy kept it from me, too. I don't care that you were shocked. What I know is if you hadn't lied to me, I would still be carrying my baby. Please. And we have to find a way to get past this. I don't know if I can do that. I don't think that I can ever forgive you for what you've done. Grace, what do you, I mean, what I do you want me to... I don't even want to talk about this now. Have you found out anything about the search for charity? No. Um, I'll call the station to see if there's any news. Yeah, why don't you go do that? I don't want to lose another child. I don't want to lose Charity. Um, I'll go. If there's any news, I'll call you. Go away from me, Ivy. Sam, please, Ethan is your son. I can't bear to see the two of you hating each other. We have to do something. I, I want Ethan to be a part of your life. Dr. Russell, what is it? I mean, what's wrong? Doesn't your password work? Chad, I think... I think that there are some things that we need to talk about first. Was that a talk about? Just... Look, Coach Russell already told me to be prepared to be disappointed. And trust me, I'm prepared. I mean, it's not like I'm expecting to be related to royalty or something like that. I don't care what my parents are, really. I just want to know who they are. No, you see, there are some things that you, you can't be prepared for no matter how long you live. Dr. Russell, please, can you just finish typing in your password? Oh, I I've got a hospital emergency I have to go. What? I, I I'll be right back. Look, Mom, why don't you give us the password and we can get the results, OK? Uh, I'm sorry, honey. There's no time. I, I have to go. But Dr. Russell, wait, wait. <laughs> At this rate, I'm never going to find out who my parents are. no longer. Now, if we can just get out of this mine shaft, maybe we can use what's left of the money from the book advance to go to some remote island where we can hide from charity. But Timmy thought charity's powers would help her find Timmy and Tabby wherever they went. Yes, well, that may be, but we've got to do something. We have to give it a try. Come on. Oh! What's wrong? Oh, oh, I think I've sprained my ankle, Timmy. Oh, I can't walk. Go on, you go. You save yourself. No. 
If Talbot was going to die, Timmy was going to die with her. Miguel, you can't close the box. I have to keep it from taking Charity. But if you do, then we're not going to be able to destroy the evil in its lair. I can't help it. I have to get Charity back now. Oh. Hello, Father. How are you, Grace? I'm, uh... Empty. What about Charity? Do you still think she's being held by evil? Yes, I do. As you know, I was there when it all happened. When Miguel and Kay saw Charity in hell, I sensed it too. I sense the opening of the portal of hell in your home. Oh, dear God. Is there anything we can do to save her? Well, Reese is still searching the internet, going over the ancient documents in the Vatican. He's hoping to find something that will help us. Well, I hope he finds something. I feel sure he will. And I feel that Miguel's love for charity will help save her. It's a lovely fragrance. I assume Sam has something to do with these flowers. Grace. How are things between you and Sam? Not good, Father. Sam told me you were shutting him out. He's quite broken up about it. Well, I don't know what else I can do. When he lied to me, I lost my baby, I... Do... Grace, I know what happened. But before your tragedy, you had a very good marriage. Sam was a wonderful husband. How can you say that, Father? He lied to me. That's really not a wonderful husband in my book. I understand your feeling, Grace. But he's asking your forgiveness. And you vowed to love him, for better or for worse. I think he deserves to be forgiven. Well, I lost my baby father, and I don't intend on forgiving anyone for that. Look, just stay the hell away from me, will you? No, I won't. I can't. Not until I find some way to bridge this terrible gap between you and Ethan. Look, Ethan doesn't want to bridge the gap. He's made himself perfectly clear. He hates my guts. Now, I have enough problems of my own right now. I'm fighting to save my family. Ethan is part of your family, Sam. Please don't make him suffer from my mistakes. If you would just make an effort, he would respond. He is your son, Sam. Please don't, don't let him go the way I let you go. Ethan Winthrop. I love your new name. And I can't wait until it's mine, too. I can't wait either. So are you excited as I am about the wedding? Yeah, I, I can't wait till we're husband and wife. Yes, husband and wife. I just think we're going to be a family. Our own family with, with my brothers and my sister and mama and your mother. I just wish my brother Antonio could be at our wedding. And Papa. I mean, wouldn't it be a miracle if, if Papa heard about the wedding and he came back? You still miss him, don't you? I do. You know, I, I, I think about him all the time, especially now. I want so badly for him to be at our wedding. I'm sorry he won't be there. I wish I had a relationship with my father, Ethan. It would mean so much to me. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to think about getting to know Sam Bennett. Ethan, your mother really seems to want that. And he is technically anyway. You're, you're your family. Teresa, honey, I love your optimism. But this is just something that we're going to have to agree to disagree on. All right? 
I will never think of Sam Bennett as my father. Said maybe she was just an illusion. A lot of weird things have happened down here in the cave. I thought I was getting her back. But you didn't, Miguel. And now you've closed the box of light, and we can't destroy the evil in this lair. I'll just have to open it again. Timmy and Tubby, better get the heck out of here. Come on, Tubby. No, but go. I can't, Timmy. I told you, I can't, I can't walk on this ankle. But heck, keep us out of the light. As soon as she snaps out of it, she's going to try to kill Tubby and Timmy. Yes, yes, you're right, all right. Well, I, I have to try. Help me. No! No, don't leave me! going to kill Timmy and his princess. Why should Timmy and Tabby show you any mercy? Please. I'm begging you. I'm too weak to harm you. Don't leave me here. Oh. If Miguel opens that box again, I'll be killed. You can't let me die. Timmy says we can't. Let's go, Princess. No, 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 wait a minute, Timmy. Hiccup was right. We do have to do something. And I know exactly what we can do. Thank you for not making me wait, Dr. Russell. I have just enough time before my night school class. I can stop off at the drugstore to get her prescription filled before I have to drop off little Amy at her aunt's house. Well, why don't I save you a little time and call in your prescription at the hospital pharmacy? Oh, that would be wonderful. With everything I have to do, I feel like I'm running all the time. You a single mother? How could you tell? The bag's under my eyes. Well, you're obviously doing a great job with the baby. I try. You know, my parents wanted me to put her up for adoption. I just couldn't do that. I love her to pieces, but sometimes... I wonder if I did the right thing, you know? I wonder if I'll ever get through... I wonder if I did the right thing, you know? I wonder if I'll ever get through school or, or get a job that pays enough. I want my baby to go to college, too. Okay. I think I can swing the rent. I don't have to pay too much for a babysitter. Oh, how am I ever gonna do this all alone? How am I ever going to be able to send my child to college? I wish I'd had the same chance with my first baby. If he hadn't been taken from me, we might be together right now. I can't believe this. I'm sorry you have to wait, Jen. You know, I, I'm sure Dr. Russell will be back any minute to put her pass from the computer. Yes, yeah. yeah, she will. Well, meanwhile, go on, ask him. Ask me what? Will you be my best man? Me be your best man? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Of course, I'd be happy to be your best man. All right. Great. Thank you, Chad. Hey, man, no problem. <laughs> hey, Whitney. You, uh, you know what that means, don't you? Now what? You and me. We're gonna be walking down that aisle together. It's kind of cool, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, it is kind of cool. You think? Yeah. I guess, uh, something's been going on. <laughs> We've been too busy to notice. Grace, I know this has been a terrible time for you. 
But I can't believe you've completely hardened your heart towards your husband. That's how I feel, Father. Come, take a walk with me. Are you up for it? Yeah, I suppose. Then come. We have a lot to talk about. Now, Father, I, I don't mean any disrespect, but I really don't think you can help me out this time. Let me try. You know this anger is making you forget that you are a good woman, a good Catholic. I hope to help you find your faith again. All right. You want to be angry, Sam? Be angry. But be angry at me. I admit it. Everything is my fault. It's all my fault. I should have told you that Ethan was your son. But the biggest mistake I ever made was leaving you to go back to Julian. That night that Ethan was conceived, it's the most important night of my life. I relive it every day. I, I think about the passion that we shared, the incredible, incredible love we had. Do you ever think about it, Sam? I mean, I, I know that Grace is your wife. I know that, but I cannot believe that you and she ever shared that we had. I mean, how could anything ever, ever compare to that night? Tilda, you can't be serious about helping Yakuba. Come to me. We do have to help her. Don't forget, I'm the one who put a spell on her that kept her in this cave for 300 years. I owe her. And the first thing we have to do is get her out of this cave before Miguel opens that box again. Oh, thank you, Tabitha. Thank you. But how can Jimmy and Tabby do that? Tabby's got her ankle, and Jimmy's too small to carry a I've thought of a way, Timmy. And the way will save her, and it will save us too. Now, what's happening? The light from the box must have weakened the walls. It's another cave-in. Well, come on, we've got to get out of here. But not until I open the box so the light can destroy the evil. Look out, look out! Wait, I need to talk to you. Will you excuse us, please? <laughs> what is going on with you and Chad? <sighs> okay, I... I don't really know, you know, I, we just kind of got closer, and I I just suddenly realized how special he really is. Oh, I don't do what happened! Oh, I I'm know. so happy for you! <sighs> Where the hell is Dr. Russell? Grace, please, let's go. Don't torture yourself by listening to this. So tell me, Sam, do you ever think about the night that Ethan was conceived? Do you ever think about the... <sighs> incredible passion we shared? Have you and Grace ever had anything even close to that? What's your plan, Tabitha? How are you planning to save me? If you use all your powers to make yourself as small as you can, you'll fit into this bottle. And then I can carry you out of here. Um, fit into that bottle? How do I know you... <laughs> You're not going to trap me in there. <laughs> you don't? Of course, I could just leave you here at the mercy of the light. It's up to you. Come on to me. No! Please. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I don't 
have much of a choice. Um, all right. I'm going to try this. Timmy is small. I need to be smaller. Hear my call. It's me. You must coddle. Make me so small. I fit in that bottle. Why Jimmy and Tabby are helping her, Cuba? Oh, we're not. We're going to seal her up in that bottle. <laughs> wow. Princess has still got it. Oh, indeed. Now you put your hand over the top and don't let her out. I've got to find the cork. I can't lose you. 